Under the Tools menu are several special functions. In this section we're going to look at the Math Channel function. This comes in two sections. The first section is built-in standard functions. These include invert, adding and subtracting channels, multiply and dividing channels. So for example the um, subtraction of channels could be a pseudo differential input or the multiplication could be a voltage and a current waveform to display a power waveform. But in this section we're going to actually um, make a custom function for looking at the difference between a reference memory and a live acquisition. So I'll just delete uh, the library function provided. So to illustrate this we're going to generate a signal using the arbitrary waveform generator. So I'll select the arbitrary waveform generator and we're going to generate a signal uh, with a frequency of 100 kilohertz. I'm going to use the arbitrary function. I'm going to generate uh, 10 cycles of a sine wave. So here we see a sine wave. So I'm going to just make the first cycle of a wider pulse width to provide a unique trigger. So I'm just going to use the draw function and then just draw a wider pulse for the first cycle. So, okay. And then we'll run an auto set. And here we can see the signal now being generated. So I'll just stop the acquisition and measure the width of the first pulse and then provide a unique trigger. So I'll just put the cursors onto the first cycle. So we can see the width of the first pulse is in fact 1.1 microseconds. So we're going to use a complex advanced trigger. We're going to use pulse width trigger. So I'm looking for a pulse width greater than let's say 1 microsecond. Now we run the acquisition. So now we can see we're triggering on this uh, wider pulse event. So I'm just going to move the trigger point now to the left hand side of the screen. So here we can see a sequence of sine waves. So the first thing I'm going to do is save this as my golden reference into a reference memory. So I just do a right mouse click and select reference waveform and I'm going to select A. So now I've saved a golden reference of this waveform. In fact if I just move the offset we can see underneath is the reference. So now I'm going to go back to the arbitrary waveform generator and change the shape of the uh, arbitrary waveform. In fact I'm just going to remove the top of one of the cycles now. So again I'll use the draw function and just remove the top of one of the waveforms. So here we can see the, uh, the reference and the live acquisition. So now we're going to make a, a maths function to look for, for this particular difference. So under the tools menu again, I'm going to select maths. And in this case, I'm going to create my own maths function. So we select create. In fact, so here we can see the maths functions available. So again, we've got the standard addition, subtraction, and division. And these are the four input channels. And, and the right hand one is the reference memory that we have defined. Under advanced, there are um, more functions like square root, log, absolute value, etx, logs, uh, sines and cosines. So the function I'm going to build is uh, a minus the reference channel. So my reference channel is a2. So this is going to look for the difference between the two signals. Uh, select next. You can uh, choose a color for the reference waveform. And you can name the reference waveform, so I'm just going to call it uh, diff in this case. And you can give it a short name, so I'll call it D. And that has completed the maths function. So now we have a, a second maths function here available. So I'm going to select this maths function and choose to display it. I'm going to say OK. So now we can see the, the maths function, which is the difference between the reference waveform, which is this one, and the live acquisition. So now I could, for example, remove the channels not required. So I can deselect the A channel and I could deselect the uh, A2 channel. So now we're just look, left with the maths function, which is displaying 
the difference between the, the live channel and the reference. So this is a very useful way of just monitoring a reference signal and looking for when it changes. This math function could be saved at this point, so it's possible under the math channels that you can export and save it, or you could import uh, a saved math channel that's already been defined. So we can select import. So for example, here are some example uh, waveforms. So we could choose one and open. And in fact, there is a whole series of maths waveforms under that particular file name. Uh, but if we wanted to look how one has been formed, you could select that one and then select edit. And you can actually ha have a look at how, how that particular math channel had been defined.